Hello, welcome, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something super easy and fast. I know that I have time without making something with needles, so today I'm going to show you how you can make this blouse with needles. If you are a beginner and you want to learn how to use them, well, this is the perfect video to start. And also, if you crochet to sell, well, this garment, like it's super easy, will be amazing for start your own business. Well, before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. Okay, for this blouse in a medium or small size, we are going to use two kind of yarns, 250 grams in different shades of blue and white and 100 in a different color. It's between medium and light yarn and the needles of number 5 millimeters and the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. Well, with one thread and with your a needle, sorry, <laughs> uh, we are going to start casting on for the stitches, okay? We are going to make two exact pieces. One will be for the front and one will be for the back. I uh, cast on the stitches like this. I use this technique. I know that there are a lot of techniques So first we are going to put the first loop inside the needle and then like if we were knitting we are going to use the last loop that we did as a support and then we will take the thread and then the loop that we have made we are going to place it back in the needle like this, we are going to cast on 46 stitches. Well, here I have the 46 stitches. You may see that there are just few stitches, but don't worry. Uh, also, the design of this blouse, it's a short blouse. It's not that long. So these stitches are enough. Well, like this, we are going to make the first row. We are going to need all the stitches Please go in order, take your time, and be careful with not skipping any stitch. Well, here we already finished the first row. So now, to start with the next row, we are going to pass the first loop here to the other needle, and we are going to knit the next five stitches. Please relax and try not to tie too much. And here we have five stitches. So in the second needle, we must have six loops. Then the stitch will be like this. We will turn over, then we will knit two together. Turn over, and we will knit two together. As you could see, we turn over, and then we knit the next two loops together. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole throw. Well, at the end of the row, we will finish like this. Well, now turn around, and before we continue, I want to tell you that here, where is the thread? If you want, you can put a marker or so. Here, always, we will make, we will need these five stitches, okay? This will be the part of the neck. And also, when we start the row, we are going to knit the first five, and then we will continue with the rest of the stitch. Okay, so now that we are here, I'm going to show you how we are going to continue. Okay, so it's very important that we start the row passing these two first stitches together. Okay, then we are going to turn over and then we are going to knit the next two. If we don't do this step, this stitch will look weird. So I suggest that you always and do this and don't forget in this side because remember that in the other side we are going to knit the last five okay so this stitch we must have this uh, thread in front so you will take this one and the thread that you have in front so remember turn over and then take and knit the next two like this we are going to continue the whole row and the last five we will knit them. Well here to make it easier I put a marker right here. Remember that we need 
uh, in the first row we need five and we pass the first stitch so we must have in the needle six loops so now that we are here we are about to uh, arrive to the marker so we are going to uh, knit the next two so here we have two four and six loops so we are going to knit them remember that we are going to repeat the same when we are here in the marker this side will be the one that will be in the neck well then at the end of the row we are going to turn around and remember we are here where the marker is so we are going to pass the first stitch then we are going to knit the next five so here we have two three four and five and then we are going to continue with the stitch at the end we must have six loops in the needle okay that, now that we check then we are going to start so here we have this thread in front so we will turn over and we will knit the next two turn over and we will knit the next two and like this we are going to continue the whole row until we finish until here then we will turn around then we are going to pass the first two threads then we will turn over and then we will continue and when we arrive here we are going to knit the last stitches where the marker is we are going to continue making more rows well here I already get ahead look how the stitch looks I love um, how it looks and how easy it is to make you may think that it's a bit difficult but as you could see it's so easy just with basic stitches you will have something like this here we have the six stitches that we leave for the neck and the edge will look like this so we are going to make two pieces exact like this one now I will measure and I will count the rows to tell you how many rows did I make and I will show you well as you could see I did continue and now if we measure in centimeters we have well approximately 80 centimeters now that I'm okay with the long of my blouse I will pin it off I will share a secret with you as you could see this yarn that I'm using it comes in different shades of blue and white right so I took one thread from the inside and one thread from the outside so one with one thread of the inside I made one of the sides and with one thread from the outside I made the part from the outside so to try to keep the same shades and the same pattern of color so uh, that's what I did so once you are sure and you finished your pieces well we are going to pin off with the needles too as you could see I take two stitches together then I knit them and then I take one of these loops again to the second needle and like this we are going to have like a chain picture in the yet yeah, in the edge okay I know that some people do this part within a hook if you know how to do it like that it's perfect too please try not to pull or tie too much in this part okay just relax and continue okay so once we finish these two pieces we have the front and the back we are going to place them like this the wrong side must face to the inside right we are going to sew the shoulders and we will leave the space of the neck open we are, are going to calculate the space of the neck that we want if we want it like more close or more open you will decide and here we are going to sew a bit for the slips so for example if we close until here and we follow this line this will be the size of the uh, slips too so we are going to continue 
Well, then here in the bottom we are going to make the elastic. We will use this color, we are going to use this combination and I will show you how we are going to make it. First we have to sew with the braiding needle the shoulders and here some stitches in the bottom and then the elastic with this color. Well then with one thread and with her needle I will show you how I do it. Here I did get a head. I will uh, show you how I made the the last stitches that I sew. So this is the invisible stitch. We will take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side. The secret here is that you will um, start from the bottom to the top. You will take the stitch like this again from the bottom to the top. We will go in order and like this is how we are going to sew the other side too. So you are going to calculate the centimeters that you are going to close for the shoulders. I'm sorry, the part that I sew was the bottom. I sew 23 centimeters and I will sew the same in the other side too. Now the space that we have opened is where we are going to make the elastic and I will show you how. Well, we are going to, uh, with this color with our hook, we are going to make a row of single crochet. We are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. Like this, we are going to continue the whole row. Once we've finished, we are going to make a row of double crochet. Okay, so we will finish this row, then one row of double crochet, and see you there to teach you what we I mean how we are going to make the elastic. So see you there. Okay, so here I finished the row of single crochet and also the row of double crochet. So here I'm going to make the last one because I want to show you that once we've finished the row, we are going to start the next one like this. We are going to slip one, okay, and right away to start the coming row in relief, we are going to place the hook in the back, okay, and from here we will take the stitch and we will go up with three chains, then turn over and we are going to alternate once we will place the hook in the back and once we are going to place the, the hook in front. And like this we are going to alternate, continue making double crochet. So like this is how we are going to make the elastic. Okay, as you could see it's um, just double crochet but we are going to make them in relief. We are going to alternate where we place the hook. Once in the back and once in front. And like this the whole row and we are going to continue making the comment rows like this. And well, here we finished the bottom, we made this row of double crochet, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 rows. So this is the space where the body of my model will be, okay, so please take that into account when you sew the sides, okay, you may then sew less or more stitches according to the side, okay, you will decide. Uh, how much stitches you want to sew or no. Then we are going to continue with the sleeves. In the top, in the neck, I won't make any extra stitch or so, I think it's perfect. And I will show you how we decorate the sleeves. Well, here in the neck, I will leave it like this. Actually, I haven't like pinned off and make a knot here in the neck because I want that my daughter try on and see if she likes the neck like this like a bit opened or should I close a little bit so I have the threads in holes and uh, to me I won't make any extra edge or so to me the um, neck is perfect so now for the leaves we are going to make first a single crochet row all around and then I made this decoration. It, I think it looks good, I wanted to make something simple to keep simple and I made this stitch. I will show you how these are just halves 
of the shells so we always show you uh, and also you will count how many shells did you make in one side to have the same number in the other side too if you want also you can make just grab a stitch or just leave it like this it's up to you so we will go up with three chains and in the same place we are going to make two double crochet out of three crochet then we are going to make we are going to skip two chains and single crochet also here try to calculate the distance between shells so again three chains and in the same place two double crochet and well like this is how we are going to continue the whole row and we are going to make this final row in both of the sleeves well this is how it looks so far i love the color and the shades the sleeves and just here to decorate and make this core with this pompon and this is up to you this is optional i put it here at the end of the sleeve if you want you can put it right here in the center or just without i will show you how i made it it is so easy uh, this will be useful too for coming projects too so let's see how it's made okay look so to make the cord you are going to use a cardboard your phone or something as a reference in this case i don't have one with me right now so i will use my four fingers two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, 20. We are going to make and have the same threads in one pom pom than in the other. We are going to cut two long threads, and these two threads, we are going to use them one to uh, gather. All the threads together okay like this we are going to take it in half we are going to take the threads together we are going to make a knot and later we are going to these threads to sew and to join with the rest of the cord so we are going to make a knot right here and then we will use the other thread that we have here to we are going to leave the same distance so later we can cover and we can blend all the threads and here we are going to make just a small head for the pump okay and like this we are going to make this as many times as we need to and we are going to continue and I'm going to make one more like this one and I will place them at the end of my sleeves so we have them here now we will use the hook as you could see here we use like these two techniques with the hook and with the needle so now I will show you how well will make the cord so we are going to start right here in the corner so we with our hook and with one thread we are going to start right here we are going to make chains one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten chains then we are going to make a round cord so we are going to uh, slip one in each stitch so we can make a round cord okay and like this then at the end of this cord we are going to put the pump and well did remember that this decoration is optional uh, you can 
use the decoration that you want but well it's it's useful to learn all of these techniques because maybe in coming projects you are going to use them right so uh, remember that before you go i want to invite all of you to subscribe to follow me in my social media i'm new in tiktok uh, there i share different content and also remember that you can um, watch more content and more videos in the shorts so this is a new app that youtube is using so see you there too well we are going to hide all these threads with the embroidery in it remember that i always encourage you to hide your threads before you cut them and also to uh, burn the tip a little bit and then you are ready to cut them it's very important that you hide them a little bit first because like this you will make sure that your project and that your stitch will last forever that's the most important part and this is how we are going to uh, protect our stitch and our project too because we have invest time and material so it's very important that our projects are care okay well we will continue at the end we are going to use the lighter and burn all that uh, threads too and well now here at the end of the cord we, we will use these threads that we have here and we are going to make a knot and place them a uh, pom pom here I decided to make this cord because if not the pompon if I put it like right away next to the stitch it won't look that good. So with the hook we are going to take these threads that we use to make the knot and we are going to bring them through these threads that we have here and we are going to pass them through okay and now we are ready to cut the threads so we can have them all of them at the same distance also again we are going to put all the threads inside so we have these threads here so we are going to repeat the same this is a small trick that I like to do to hide all the threads and now that we have them and that we have them facing to the same direction now we can cut them okay like this and we are going to make the same with the other pom pom too and like this we finished to decorate so basically we are going to repeat the same and that's it i will place them in the bottom of my sleeves okay and with this we finished please let's hide all the threads that we may have I uh, use the meridian needle to hide the threads remember I like to leave this stitch without I iron it I think that it doesn't need to because it will lose like its puffiness and stuff so I will just leave it like this this is ready to wear and let's see how it looks well I hope that you all enjoy making this beautiful uh, blouse with me as you could see it's so easy with just some steps you will have this blouse if you are a beginner I think it's perfect for you to start a new project I hope that you find it easy if, if you have a doubt please let me a comment and I will try to answer as soon as I can thank you so much for arriving till the end of the video please don't forget to subscribe and to share this video take care see you soon Bye.